Looking for adding Google Map to your Elementor website in a convenient way? Use the Advanced Google Map widget of Happy Add-ons. You can customize Google Maps according to your needs. This is our imaginary restaurant website. The owner has chain restaurants around the cities of the US. The owner wants to show some important facts for their customers. They want to show areas that cover free home delivery, restaurant chains located on the map, and the route for the restaurants. They also want the map's color to sync with their restaurant's theme color. On this website, we have covered all of these demands by using our newest widget, Advanced Google Map. Now we'll show how we have used the Advanced Google Map widget of happy add-ons to fulfill all demands of the restaurant owners. Before you use the Advanced Google Map widget, do make sure to install and activate these plugins, the free version of the Elementor plugin and the free and pro version of the happy add-ons plugin. Now go to the Elementor editing panel. Before using the Advanced Google Map widget, you need to insert the Google Map API key. To add the Google Map API key, please visit the Credential Settings page of Happy Add-ons from your site's back end. Scroll down and you will find the Google Map API section. If you already have the key, set it here or click the Get API Key button and you'll be taken to the API Console page. Or, you can find the details here in this Google Map API documentation page. We'll share the documentation page in the description box below. Carefully go through the guide and create your API key. Here, all the details are given about Google Map API billing. Please note that Google Maps platform use a pay-as-you-go pricing model. So Google Maps API key is not free at all. You will be charged for the API calls and all of these necessary links will be available in the description box down below. Now go back to the Elementor editing panel after you insert the Google Map API keys. Add the advanced Google Map widget from the left sidebar and drag it to the editing panel. You can see the previous view of the Google Map widget once you add it. Here, you'll get four options – General Settings, Map Settings, Map Marker, and Map Style. Expand the General Settings. You can use four types of Google Maps – Basic, Polyline, Polygon, and the Root. The other two options are Latitude and Longitude. Let's add a basic Google Map. But first of all, you need to collect the latitude and longitude. Go to Google Map, then find the preferred location and click on it. On the address bar, you can see the latitude and longitude number after at. The first number from at to comma is latitude and the number from a comma to the next immediate ending comma is the longitude. Just copy one by one and paste it here. That's it! You just added the basic map on using the real-time latitude and longitude from Google Map. By the way, by adding latitude and longitude here, you have done a great job. Now this location will be always at the center of your map. Now click on the map settings. Here, you can add different map types, road map, satellite, terrain, and hybrid. Adjust the map zoom based on your website structure. Keep it as minimal as you can. As per our testing from 12 to 13, the zoom level is perfect for the minimal viewport. This zoom will help you to show the concentrated area of your desired location. Otherwise, 
you will get the default view of Google Map. Let's check these options one by one to customize the map according to your need. You can also show legend on your map by enabling it, plus you will see an option for it. Here you can add a title, description, and an image to shortly explain your location. Lastly, explore the rest of the options in the same way and see the output on the right screen. In the map marker section, you can use the custom image if you want or you can keep it as it is. Now toggle rectangular image custom marker size, latitude, longitude, title, and description. You can add more markers as you want by clicking on the Add Item button. Click on the Map Style. Here, you can use different styles such as Standard, Silver, Retro, Dark, Night, Aubergine and custom. Here comes the most interesting part. You can add custom style on this map using the third party platform Snazzy Map. It will help you get your desired theme based map design. So go to snazzymaps.com and choose the most suitable map style and then click on it. Once you enter the map, you'll see a JSON code. Just expand it and select all and copy the entire code. Paste it here. That's it. Isn't it a simple one to do? This is the most demanding snazzy map style of Google Map and it is now yours. Next, click on the style section. Here you will get three options to stylize. Map, marker title and marker description. Expand the map. Here, you can adjust certain things such as margin, height, width, normal, and hover effect. Explore these options one by one to get the best view of your map. Now style the marker title and marker description. You can stylize one more thing, legend. For that, activate the legend from map settings. And you can see three more styling options for it. Legend title, legend, and legend items. Now let's style the legend title, add margin, padding, alignment, topography, normal, and hover effect. Adjust the color, background, and more. Continue the same process for legend.
and also for the legend items. Once you're done with the style, now it's time to show more three map types. This time, we'll redesign this polyline map. Let's get started. Open the Elementor editing panel. Add the advanced Google Map widget from the left sidebar. And then, turn the Google Map type from basic to polyline. What is a polyline? A polyline is a list of points where line segments are drawn between consecutive points. Here, you'll get one extra option for this map, Coordinate Settings. The rest of the options are similar. Expand the map settings, activate the info container, and then change the map style to dark. Next, open the map marker. For each map marker, you can add an image, marker size, latitude and longitude, title and description. Add a title and description for the location. Then upload or add an image from the media gallery. Adjust the map marker image size. Following this way, you can add more markers you want. To add polyline to these individual locations, you need to add coordinate. Click on the coordinate settings. As we have three locations, we just need three coordinate numbers. Now add the latitude and longitude number on each coordinate from the map marker. Continue the process till every point touches all the designated locations. That's it! You have successfully added the polyline map on your website. Now let's see how to use other map types. Change the map type from polyline to polygon. You can see it automatically captures your preferred location and shows a polygon type structure. What is a polygon? A polygon defines a series of connected coordinates in an ordered sequence. Additionally, polygons from a closed loop and define a filled region. We used Polygon to show our restaurant's free home delivery service coverage area. The rest of the other options are similar. Also, you can add different Polygon styles for each location like these maps. Lastly, at the route, it will automatically find the best route and create a mostly used route or path to your preferred locations. In the coordinate settings, there are two locations for the route, A for origin and B for destination. 
add the latitude and longitude number for each point if you need to a different location. And finally, you can change the travel mode to walking, bicycling, and driving. Keep in mind, it depends on Google Maps data. If there is no route for your selected travel, Mode Map will act wired, so choose it accordingly. Click on Advanced to explore more options. It's a default feature of Elementor. Here, you can adjust the margin, padding, z-index, CSS ID, and CSS classes to your design. So this is how you can use the Advanced Google Map widget on your website to share your preferred locations with your customers smartly. We have given possible use cases of the maps. If you are using this map for a different purpose, please let us know in the comments down below so that other users will get ideas from your comment. For more information on designing your WordPress site, subscribe to our channel and connect us on our social pages to receive updates on designing your WordPress site using the Happy Add-ons plugin.